Young Space Engineer. This is Captain Rick Havoc with the Perry Public Navy, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am coming to you from the Research and Development Station of the Terran Republic Shipyard to bring you a combat test and review of the ship in front of us. This is the Exeter Heavy Battle Cruiser by Calevra. And it's it's a decent ship. It's got its, uh, it doesn't really suit my, my playing or fighting style, for one thing, but if I'm going to review ships, I can't just review ships that, uh, suit my playing or fighting style. I have to look at pretty much everything. So, the issues with this ship are primarily that uh, it's set up for both broadside and uh, front forward fighting. Its heaviest, most destructive, damaging weapons are here in the nose these rail guns so he's got rail guns in the nose so you know obviously set up to fire straight forward and since these are your heaviest most damaging weapon you're gonna want to be shooting those at your enemies just as uh, you know just as often as they'll reload and I got my uh, nuke launcher down here in the chin but the uh, artillery turrets here on the sides are set up for broadside fire so unless you're engaging multiple enemies that are on multiple axes saw on, on either side and in front of you, you're not going to get that much use out of these side-mounted artillery turrets when you're shooting your rail guns at a target in front of you. There is a way to do it, but it's it's a pain. So, and this ship does have, uh, it's got some, uh, got, got a few, uh, Gatling turrets for point defense. Got four of them, as a matter of fact. Has its jump drives here in this, here on either side. Let's see. It's got uh, both uh, hydrogen and ion drive, hydrogen and ion thrusters. It's actually got, you know, it's, it's a battle cruiser. It's got, it's pretty maneuverable. More maneuverable than a battleship, for sure. But... Anyway, that's pretty much the outside of the ship. There isn't a whole lot to see on the inside either, so, but let me show it to you. Alright, I'm going to... This is not part of the original blueprint, this is my escape route. for when I crash a ship on the planet.
And you just set up a nice, uh, nice set of uh, airlocks on on either side. Oh, I forgot. There's no. Uh, there's no script to close the doors, so I gotta close them myself after I go through. Them. Really prefer to have a script to close the doors. Uh, and, you know, as, as you can see, the, uh, you know, the airlock is well thought out. It's got an armory in it, and, uh, you got your, uh, weapons racks right, right here outside the, uh, airlock. So you can, uh, get all equipped as you're going out. And so, on up here is the relatively small, short main corridor of the ship. Back here, we have a little bit of ac of uh, accessible stuff. Uh, nothing, in, no, nothing of engineering accessible back here. But we got the block with the uh, turret. Contr you know the turret control script and we got a pair of uh, custom turret controllers for the two turrets that's, uh, that are located on top of the ship and another programmable block if you want to stick another script on the ship I could put I could put the uh, auto door script in that I guess I'm not going to not for that That is that part of the ship. And we got the ship's head right here. Right here is the ship's head. Only a, to only a toilet, no shower. So it's n not a complete refresher. You've only got the uh, toilet there. Let's see, what we got here is uh, industrial assembler, and this is uh, what little uh, crew space there is on the ship. Right here, it's got a couple cryopods, air vent, a little, uh, little few decorations, a sofa, uh, another armory, a uh, survival kit, and another cryopod. That's it. That is all your crew amenities on this ship. Doesn't even have any beds. No beds, no mess hall, no, uh, you know. And this is the control room. And that's it. That, that This is it for the interior of this ship. Oh, not quite, not quite. That's one more uh, part to show you here. So let me uh, close this. And got a little, uh, so we got a pair of industrial assemblers on the ship. See, I think there's, I'm not, we'll check the uh, internal to see if there's a refinery. I'm not, can't remember whether there is one. We got an airless section up here. Basically, this gives you access to the rail guns. And I had to, I had to stick these stairs in here to be able to climb up. The blueprint doesn't have those stairs there. But you come up these, come way up this corridor. Come up here far enough, and you can access. You can get access to the to the rail guns, which are all the way up here. So here's your rail guns. 
Uh, if you need to get in, get up here and uh, to, I guess get in here and do uh, repairs on them. Get whether there's a way down here or not. I mean this this takes you back down this way, but there's no door at the end. This is just a redundant corridor in the ship. There's no door at the end. Doesn't really lead anywhere. Just on the side of the ship. So, it doesn't give you access to much. You look out the windows and look at your uh, artillery turrets. So, a maintenance corridor of limited utility. But uh, in reality, there's so little of this ship that's accessible to the to the to the crew from the inside. I mean, this is a ship that just cries out for building repair because you can't get to anything to fix it. And you can't can't hardly can hardly get to anything to fix it. So as like I said, this is the control room. That's the uh, inside end of my escape route. And so we got uh, and we got uh, four control seats in here. There's only one of them actually set up to do anything with and that's this one here so uh, let's see let's have a look at the internals is there a refinery Half a dozen O2H2 generators, kind of nice. And rail guns. Uh, I don't see a refinery. Let's see if it's hidden. No, no refinery. Two industrial assemblers but no no refiner uh, we got a whole bunch of small warfare reactors uh, hell I'm not gonna know. it's like 16 18 18 small war warfare reactors mm -hmm. half a dozen O2H2 generators And uh, five large industrial cargo containers, half a dozen jump drives, half a dozen jump tra hydrogen tanks. Well, the Calibra seems to really like the number six. A whole smear of gyroscope. Looks like. Is that 66 or is there more than that? There's at least 66 gyroscopes. And we got the four Gatling turrets, we got a gravity generator, and we got 10 decoys to draw fire away from our uh, vital systems, our weapons. And I had to put cameras on the front of the ship because uh, for some reason, Colevra didn't put any cameras on the front of the ship, even though it's got the rail guns in the front. And you need a camera up front to to aim them. Don't know. I 
I don't know of any other way to aim rail guns than to have uh, more than one camera on your on the front of your ship. So if one camera gets knocked out, you can switch to another. Look at all these batteries. Just. Uh, looks like about uh, lots of battery like about over 60 over 60 batteries got some oxygen farms we got to let's see how many of these we got I can't go with numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight oxygen farms. Rail guns, of course. Already mentioned the small warfare reactors, a bunch of spotlights, survival kit, no no uh, medical room, just a survival kit. A mm, bunch of warfare ion thrusters and welders. See, I think this thing has welders on the under under the turrets, behind the turrets, to uh, repair the turret, basically. So that's it for the uh, outside and inside of the ship and the internals. It's not a terrible ship, but not a great ship. It really is not a great ship. Anyway, let me take this opportunity to remind you that if you are enjoying this content and would like to see more of it, Please remember those buttons down below in the description, the like and the subscribe and the notification bell. If you'll smash those buttons, you'll be notified when I'm releasing new content. So I want to invite you to come back for part two of this combat test and review, where we do the combat portion of and uh, crash the ship on the planet. Until then... I would want to bid you all a good day.